going on everyone? I have some really bad news about this build. Every now and then this car will throw a 2A 7A code as you just saw it, randomly at cold start. Now a quick Google search is going to show you that you just need to change your sensors and those sensors are going to be the Bano solenoids and the camshaft position sensors. Now I've already tried cleaning them, I've replaced them, then that didn't work, I kept having the issue but it would be it would be at random times you wouldn't be able to expect when it happens or not. So I would try cleaning them, I tried swapping them, I even tried warranting out my old FCP solenoids. Nothing really worked. I even reset the adaptations. Again, nothing. Now the problem started getting worse and then I would throw the code a lot more often and eventually the 2A7 day turned into 2A87 and it was pretty consistent. Now, what happened after I threw this code again, after I did the sensors for both camshaft and Venos, is that I took it to one of my friends. We ran some tests and we did that on ISTA, which is the tool that BMW dealers use. And unfortunately for me, my cam ledges are bad. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and pay up and have to replace those. Can you please just be good to me for once? Okay, so does this mean that you have to replace your cam just right away? No. All right, so let's talk about everything you should do before just going out and buying a whole set of cam ledges. Sadly for me, I just had some rotten luck. You know, I thought because I have an LCI, I have an 09, that this would be something that they have fixed in 07 and 08 which is gonna be a lot more of an issue for 07 and 08 and 54s. Again, I thought because I had an 09, they, they had fixed this problem. So I tried everything else before I even thought about taking this car apart. Unfortunately, I saw that a lot of 335 ISs were also having this issue. And I, right away, after I saw the ISs having it, I thought, well, mine's an 09. It's definitely gonna have this issue as well. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and clean your venal solenoids, the two of them right down there plenty of videos on how to take them out. It's fairly easy. It takes me no more than 10 minutes. Even when I was full bolt on, there was a lot more stuff in the way. Now that I'm single turbo, that's not the case. It's fairly easy. I just take this fan out. You got two bolts to undo down there and pull this out. You can take out the solenoids and clean them with some brake cleaner. Now, when I first had this issue, I was full bolt on and I did that and it didn't work. So I just ended up changing both my vanal solenoids. That gave that a shot and it worked temporarily. At that point, I thought, okay, Everything's fixed. It should be good to go single turbo. Unfortunately, once I had already swapped everything, the code kept coming back. Now at this point, I panicked a little bit and I saw somewhere else that you can just try changing the camshaft position sensors. Well, I tried cleaning them with brake cleaner. Now those two, a little harder to do. There's one right here. And then there's another one on the opposite side of the engine right there. Now I bought some VDO ones from FCP Euro and their camshaft position sensors. Now I did that because VDO makes the camshaft position sensors for BMW. And I did the same thing, I reset adaptations and it worked for about a week. And then my code just kept coming back. Now after that, I went ahead and I checked the check valves, which are on the left side of the engine. They didn't look dirty or anything, but I went ahead and cleaned them anyway. And I reset adaptations again and nothing happened. Now at this point, my 2A7 day and 2A87 went from happening only sometimes to happening almost every single time that it would start and until it would warm up. So the solution is new cam ledges, obviously, which I'm going to be buying. Some might think, oh, I might as well just take it out of a car that's blown. Well, problem is that you need to install a seal around the camshaft. Now it's a Teflon seal instead of a metal one. So if it does start moving against those ledge bearings, it's not going to put grooves in them, which is what's causing this issue. So taking them out of a car that's being parted out, for example, like I was going to do, well, you won't have those Teflon seals and you'll probably just run into this issue as is. So I'm just gonna have to start and just buy them brand new, which is not cheap. Unfortunately, it's, I already ordered it. It's running me $1,200 to do. But because I'm already single turbo, I might as well just do it, sadly. Of course, I'm gonna do that and then make another video on it. It's freaking painful owning this car right now, but in theory, this should fix all my issues. I should have some trouble free driving, at least for a week. I mean, at this rate, a week sounds about right. 